How's it? Today is Friday, November 19th, and it's my first Friday at Standard Strength in I don't even know how many weeks. Um, it's been a very, very long time, so I'm very happy that I'm able to actually sort of like, quote unquote, max out on Fridays. Um, even though today was not even a big Friday, it's a medium Friday. So you can see there, 85% for both of these um, snatch and clean and jerk. Um, kind of falling in line with everything that I talked about on Monday and Wednesday. Giving myself a little bit of time and, and um, room to grow and peak towards the end of the year. I think it's going to be super beneficial for me. Because today is uh, 85 uh, it's very very light 85 snatch for me is very light 110 clean and jerk is even lighter than that so like relative to how much effort I have to put into it right so I am hopeful that this sort of slow progression slow increase will reap rewards uh, uh, yeah whatever the phrase is and I think that that is what's gonna happen I feel pretty good kind of moving forward just thinking about executing right so my warm-ups are the same as they've been in the past um, for a, a while I would actually skip a bunch of weights because I was I would end up going to the gym a little bit too late or I would get to 24-hour to fitness and then I would have to sit there and wait and those are times that I don't think um, help me so I kind of made sure that I had enough time today. Did my whole warm up from 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. Oh, 70 is next. 80 will be after that. And then my first weight is 85. That's been my warm up for I don't even know how long. Some people say I don't need that type of warm up, but I don't really do anything else to warm up. Like, I don't do any stretches. I, I do my little elbow thing with the voodoo floss. Other than that, I don't do anything. I think kind of moving forward I might start biking just like five minutes so I can I I would have counted that as a miss um, biking just so that I can get a little bit warm get my my muscles get blood through my muscles I think it's gonna help me a bit quite a bit so here's my first set all of these again are are pretty easy I, I don't think about a lot as I'm doing them. Yeah, like 85, I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I do recall there was a time where I missed um, 185 pound snatch at 24 fitness, but I don't remember the last time I missed the 85 snatch, like 85 conning in kilos. It, I might have missed one recently, but if not recently, then it was well over a year ago. So, you know, like I don't feel any pressure to, to do that or to to execute on the 85 just because I, I have the confidence that I'll be able to actually do it. Um, I know that's not the greatest way of looking at things because each rep I can get better, right? I have the opportunity to, to learn something with every rep. Um, but for me right now, it's just like focus on making lifts just because... Most of my Fridays have just been complete shit. Just like, terrible. Uh, last week I missed all my snatches, right? So, yeah. Um, here's my first set of my clean jerks and my uh, 110. Another thing I totally forgot about today was I didn't have my wrist wraps on. Uh, usually I put them on when I'm snatching just because I hurt my wrist uh, a while ago at 24. But, I don't know, I, I forgot them today when I was warming up, and it turned out to be fine. So, I actually didn't have them on for my cleaning jerks. Because, for me, like, when I'm cleaning, it's a lot easier to, to clean without the wraps. The only reason why I have the wraps is because overhead, my positioning sometimes for my hands and my arms is not the best. So, having the cushion of having wrist wraps um, helps a ton 
but you know like with 110 I don't think that I will ever really run into that issue I remember for a while uh, when I was power cleaning here at, at standard strength like when I would push for the 125 power clean which I have yet to hit but I think I am if I give myself some time to rest and whatnot I think I'm pretty close to it but during that time I would always do power jerks after the power clean and I never use my wraps um, I could be remembering this wrong maybe if I go back and watch the videos I, I will feel like a like an idiot uh, but that's how I remember it so um, yeah just the way I look at it uh, after that I moved into my prowess front squats uh, work up to a set of three at 130. I think 130 was the weight that I did uh, last week actually for multiple sets. I think I did like three threes at 130. Is that right? I, I, again, I could be remembering completely wrong. But um, a top set of 130 today is not very challenging for me. But yeah, so you can see that it was pretty easy. Uh, so actually, so last week I did no pause, um, three sets of three at 130. And to be honest, I think for me, pause front squatting is a lot easier than regular front squatting because I don't lose tension in my upper back as I change directions because I have, I'm forced to maintain tension at the bottom, otherwise I'll curl up. Um, and that, that change of direction sometimes incites pain in my upper back. But um, with the pause front squat, that never happens. So, like, I think this is actually easier, which is kind of weird to think about because, like, scientifically, that's not how your muscles operate. Um, yeah. After that, I did my pull ups, real simple, and then my GHD sit ups, also real simple. Um, pretty good training session overall today. You know, I didn't miss any reps, I did all 10. 10 for 10 today, so that's a win in my book. Even though it's light, it's still a win in my book. But yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Shoots.